Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Here's your host, Cyrus Webb. And welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. But for a radio audience here in Mississippi at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com, we're glad that you all could be with us. Also, just tuning in through our friends at Amazon Music and iHeartRadio. We're glad you all could join us as well. Well, I have definitely I had to make some changes in my work over the past couple of years, as I know a lot of you have as well with the pandemic. That means we've been shifting from either doing remote working or hybrid working, where we're going in some, work from home some, and that can impact a lot of things, including the way we are able to communicate with one another. There have definitely been some changes and some challenges that have come with that. How can you make the most of workplace communication and still be able to be productive and not lose your mind in the process? We're excited to welcome Jamie Delane to our program today. Jamie is the Principal of Project Manager Foundations at Slack. She's going to talk to us about a recent survey that really looks at this idea of being able to communicate effectively in the workplace, as well as what all of us can use to be able to benefit. Jamie, thank you so much for the time. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having me here, and thanks for teeing me up so well. I feel like um, you really explained the current state of affairs out there. You know, people are working in ways that they've never worked before, and that means that they're communicating in ways that they weren't communicating um, before the pandemic. So um, I'm excited to talk about some survey results that we got uh, about exactly how the change in how we work is changing how we talk at work. And, and I think that's such a great point. And as I uh, mentioned, Jamie, I've had to go through it myself. So what did you notice when it comes to this topic in the survey, Jamie, when it comes to how remote or hybrid work has impacted workplace communication? Well, um, our survey focused on, you know, folks who are already working, currently working remote or hybrid. Uh, Mm -hmm. And the big finding, uh, which might be surprising, is that informal work communication is really helping people make the shift to remote and hybrid work. The, The big sort of headline takeaway here is that, you know, about one in seven people think that things like uh, using emoji, using GIFs is helping them navigate the work transition. And unsurprisingly, I think if you if you realize that people like communicating informally, about 70% the same size group of people said that they don't want um, to use jargon. and sl- They don't want to use jargon. They'd rather use slang, abbreviations. Um, and they they want to talk at work like they talk with their friends and family. So this brings up an interesting question, Jamie, and I thought about this when I was prepping for this segment. Did the survey look at how it broke down among among age groups? Because I, I can imagine for some, the way they communicate would be a little different than others. Was that a factor that you saw in the survey? Yeah, you know, it did show up. Uh, it, it turns out that while this trend is true across all of the age groups we surveyed, It is more prevalent among millennials. So about 80% of millennials agree that, you know, this kind of casual communication is helping them get their work done every day. But even though it's a smaller group, even 60% of Gen Xers also agree. So it's not just millennials, although we do see uh, folks on the younger side of the spectrum adapting maybe more quickly and more enthusiastically to this new way of working. Did it look at in any way, Jamie, how how it, it, it built as far as the, the teamwork factor? I know a lot of times for some people, being around yeah. each other definitely does impact the way that they're able to feel connected. Did that show up at, at all in the survey? It did show up. I think, you know, one of the things that took a big hit when we all had to sort of change how we were working and not see each other in the office every day was our sense of belonging. Um, even if people were happier with the hours that they got to work, not having to commute, it's hard to feel like a team when you're just dialing in. Uh, so what we found here, which I think is, is really critical, especially you know right now when so many people are leaving jobs for new jobs, is that this kind of casual communication with emoji, gifts, short, sort of concise to the point, um, actually increases people's feeling of belonging. And that's not super surprising. You're going to feel a lot more connected to people that you talk to like you would talk to uh, people outside of the workplace than if you're getting 
you know, long emails full of phrases like circle back, um, can we punt on this, let's think mm. outside of the box, et cetera. Yeah. Jamie, when I introduced you, I mentioned you're the principal project manager of foundations at Slack. Talk to our audience for those who are not familiar, because I think it's going to be important for them, exactly what Slack does. Yeah, this is a really, really uh, good question and probably helps explain why um, I care about this topic. Um, Slack is a digital HQ. So if you think about, you know, before the pandemic, everybody was going into their offices, sitting at their desk, and that's how they connected with their colleagues, with their tools, um, how they kind of had their sense of place at work. Um, Slack replaces all of that with a headquarters that is digital first. All of the communication in Slack is organized in channels that can be around different topics, teams, even interests like knitting. Um, and inside of those channels, you have access to all of your tools. You can create video clips, audio clips, uh, rich, uh, you know, sort of emoji communication. Um, it's, it's really uh, an expressive digital space where everybody on your team can get together with all of the tools that they need. Love that, love that, and I think that's why this conversation is so important. As you mentioned, Jamie, while well, you're so passionate about it, but also it, it lets our audience know where they can be able to go for more information on how they can be able to better be able to communicate themselves. So I definitely invite them to go to slack.com. Again, at slack.com. We'll make sure that we link that up for those joining us via the podcast. Again, we're excited that we had Jamie joining us today. Jamie, thank you so much for the time, and, and really appreciate the work you're doing at Slack. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, the pleasure is definitely all mine, and we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live here at your community station, WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Now let's go make today amazing. Take care.